Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Han Encasement in Mumbai. This is the escalation. I'm going to show you all three levels done Son Assassin. I'm going to show you how to do it in the walkthrough. So for the very first level, what we need to do is eliminate these two guys at the construction site in Mumbai. And uh, it's very easily done actually because we have to eliminate them with the crane. And we are going to use the default equipment and we're going to start the barge already disguised as a security guard. So uh, I think there's only one enforcer to deal with. So you should have no problems with level one. It's very, very easy for this entire escalation, actually. Not just for this level, but all three, well, all three of them, actually. So all we need to do is get into the uh, crane control room. And it's just going to be in the blue container. And there's going to be a guard just standing outside it. The door isn't locked, so you can go straight in and use the crane controls at the end. So all you pretty much need to do is just move your left stick all the way up to where the two guards are on the, uh, the barge itself. And you need to line it up uh, pretty much perfectly because it can wobble up, uh, up and down, as you can see here. So you need to make sure it's uh, perfectly straight before you drop it, because it can deviate when you drop it. But once you've got those two kills taken care of, you can now head to the any exit you choose to. And I'm going to take this one over here, the Tuk Tuk exit. There's going to be a couple of enforcers out here, so just watch out for those two guys. Uh, but you only need two coins for this Tuk Tuk, so... Once you've taken this exit, you'll get a nice, easy silent assassin rating for level one. A very easy, very simple. I like how when you skip the end cutscene right there, you'll see uh, the tuk tuk completely disappear. As you can see, forty-seven just floating in midair. That's quite funny. So let's just get a confirmation of the silent assassin rating, and then we can move on to level two. So for level two, uh, certain containers in the construction site are now reinforced. So you're going to need a crowbar for those. And we need to take out our third guard now with an electrocution accident kill. So we are going to bring along the remote taser for this one. And we're going to swap that from our lockpick. So uh, we're going to bring on the taser instead of the, uh, the lockpick. Because we are going to retrieve that crowbar out in the open anyway. So pull out your uh, taser and go ahead and just drop it in this area. Turn on this water pump. It's not necessary to electrocute the guard because you can he can just pick it up and... Any kind of electrocution kills an accident kill anyway, but uh, we put it in the puddle there anyway just to drag him over here. Oh, I'm looking for that crowbar. There it is. So we are going to need to get the crowbar into the blue blue container here. But you can go ahead and activate that uh, remote uh, remote taser as soon as he gets near it. So you want to throw a coin over here just to distract this guard because we need to use the crowbar on this uh, blue container right here. And as soon as he uh, moves away from the area, we can go ahead and break this open. Go ahead and operate the crane just like you did in the previous level. Uh, there should be no deviation between um, any of the three levels, really, because all three levels we have to take out these two guys with the same technique. But as long as you're lining this up perfectly, you should have no problems taking these two guards out. So once all three targets are taken care of now, you head any, head to any exit you want to. I am going to take the same exit as I did previous level, which is the Tuk Tuk exit. Again, watch out for the two enforcers that are just outside. That, uh, there's one to your right, and there should be a guard just patrolling left and right. So, but you can take this Tuk Tuk exit, and you get a nice, easy silent assassin for level two. So obviously, we're breezing along right now. And um, level three is when things start to uh, change up a little bit. Brought back an old um, old rule for the new escalations. They really do want to start. To, uh, they are starting to push the crowbar because they want you to use the custom crowbar. I'm guessing that's probably why the reason why they're doing this. But for level three, we have to. We have now have an elimination streak. We have a fourth target which we have to eliminate with an explosion. And we are going to bring the same equipment, but that elimination streak is basically once you take out one target, you have 60 seconds to take out your next target until all of them are taken care of. So from the very start, we're going to go head over here, pull out our pistol as we crouch, and then shoot that con gas container once. Go ahead and drop the taser on your normal uh, place, and then turn on this water pump. And now we're going to retrieve the crowbar. So basically, we, we, sh we shot that gas canister once, we, we created a leak. So that's, that basically kill is going to be taking care of itself. I'm going to go ahead and knock out this guard because I'm tired of uh, distracting him. And uh, his body won't get found anyway, so you may as well just knock him out. It's quicker. And uh, it's just obviously a lot better. So go ahead and tase the target, your first one. And break open this uh, door to get into the blue container. And... 
and uh, we're going to operate the crane and go ahead and take out the other two targets on the barge. Now our fourth target is going to hear this uh, hear this crane drop and he will get uh, alerted to the situation but he will go back to his uh, routine like very quickly. So you don't really know what, need to worry about uh, RNG or anything like that. I've tested this uh, several times and it works every time so uh, you shouldn't have to worry about that. So what we're actually going to do is head straight to the exit. Now what he usually does, he will go to where the security hut is and he will uh, be smoking a cigarette right next to the gas canister uh, conveniently for us. So that's what we're going to do is just wait for him to do that. So we're essentially just waiting for him to uh, blow himself up pretty much. And it's just as easy as that. Level 3, very simple, um, very uh, quick and easy elusive target. Not elusive target, sorry, escalation really. So that's all three levels done. So I just got a confirmation of the elusive target. Look, okay, everyone's freaking out, that's quite funny. Let's get a confirmation of the uh, Sonic Assassin. And then we can uh, wrap up the video. So there's the um, achievement for the hand encasement. And uh, there is our son, Assassin Raiden. So there we go. Only five people have done it so far. I'm not on the leaderboard for now, but uh, we'll see about that later on. But that is uh, basically going to do it for this video. It's very quick, uh, very simple, very straightforward escalation in the end. Um, I feel like they could have done a little bit more and make it a little bit more complicated, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, they were quite limited when it comes to this kind of thing, but you know, it is what it is, like I said. But that's going to do it for this video. So, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video. Shout out to Ajial, the Shafe, and Nico Senpai for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members of the channel. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.